गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स और टूडेज टॉपिक अबाउट थाइरोडाइटिस थाइरोडाइटिस इट्स अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक माई डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस थाइरोडाइटिस वट डज इट मीन थारो थारो मीन्स थाइरोड ग्लैंड थाइरोड इट्स थाइरोड ग्लैंड माई डियर फ्रेंड्स थाइरोडाइटिस आइटिस I already explained in my earlier videos. It's inflammation. Inflammation means itis. So, what does it indicate? A inflammation of thyroid gland, and what was going to happen? There's a large thyroid gland. Guaiter, my dear friends. This thyroiditis disease is more common in females. It is more common in females. and uh, we are going to classify thyroiditis into two parts first one is painful very painful another one is non painful no pain so let's discuss about painful thyroiditis it is known as sub acute sub acute or d querel curevian curian q u e curen d coren Brain decoraging thyroiditis, thyroiditis. Some acute we can say or decoraging thyroiditis we can say. It's very necessary to understand what does it indicates. It is a granulomatous. This is granulomatous. changes due to gen cell granulomatous gen cell inflammation in the if i am going to write of thyroid gland which causes the enlargement of gland and here due to this enlargement thyroiditis here happen dyspnea and dysphagia what is dyspnea a short it's painful breathing this means pain phagia means to engulf painful engulfment with due to thyroid gland enlarge and which suppresses the esophagus and trachea that's why my dear friends such thing happens and pain pain in neck neck pain neck pain jaw pain and uh, uh what else do you think uh, here neck pain jaw pain and uh, lower upper extremities pain upper extremities pain so my dear friend in sub acute d carven thyroiditis um, we are going to use some markers like investigation uh, we have to perform here esr esr waist in this esr waist here tsh we, we are going to find the tsh findings and uh, there it's uh, firstly the hyper then u then hypothyroidism occurs and uh, how to treat this decurrent thyroiditis here it's inflammation i already told a granulomatous and gen cell inflammation so treatment here for inflammation this is hyper firstly in hyper then u thyroid then in hypothyroidism and then again new thyroid so it's self limiting condition my dear friends and treatment if inflammation here so inflammation we are going to use prednisone prednisone prednisolone it is steroids for inflammation we need to give prednisolone and if pain i already explained here pain so pain we are going to treat with aspirin aspirin we are going to use for pain and what else we are going to use here if there is hyperthyroidism also so hyperthyroidism like symptoms like tremors tachycardia anxiety so we are going to treat with propranolol so my dear friends i hope till here it's clear for you it's very much easy and what other two types second one uh, like uh, which also causes uh, like uh, painful thyroiditis is trauma trauma to thyroid gland or radiation therapy to thyroid gland radiation therapy to thyroid gland and super radio and super radio one so i hope till here it's clear today i am looking serious little bit because i am tired 
so my dear friends try to understand this is very very uh, interesting topic and uh, i try my best to explain you and now we are going to uh, discuss non painful thyroiditis like hashimotos hashimotos thyroiditis t i am going to write here what happens is chronic it's chronic auto antibodies auto immune which damage the thyroid gland or not damage inflammation due to auto immune process there is inflammation of thyroid gland or uh, this is pain like painless and due to development of antibodies it happen thyroiditis antibodies include like tpo antibodies we are going to consider here and uh, anti tg antibodies anti tg and thyroglobulin antibodies also we can see here so my dear friends try and understand how i am going to explain you what is it happen hashimoto uh, in hypothyroidism also but here it causes auto antibodies against thyroiditis it causes so here is painless weight gain thyroid symptoms so we need to uh, check tss so what happened with tss tss may be high t3 t4 low and it indicates here the investigation tsh high t3 t4 low so it indicates the hypothyroidism and how to treat treat with levothyroxine levo thyroxine i am going to explain the doses everything in microgram we are going to use and how to calculate the doses but not in this topic this is just only a topic about thyroiditis i am going to explain you in my next coming videos like hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism thyrotoxicosis thyroid cancer everything but uh, in this video i hope uh, i try my best to explain this one and now we are going to discuss about redels redels thyroiditis redels what does it mean fibrosis fibrosis of thyroid gland cervical structure and, uh, and also the fibrosis in esophagus also the th uh, trachea fibrosis and musculature and mediastinum retroperitoneum so my dear friends i hope my words are clear for you it also causes dyspnea dysphagia because fibrosis in esophagus causes dysphagia uh, and uh, dyspnea also and neck uh, posture cough and here that the uh, investigation is surgical biopsy is the most gold standard investigation to identify the redels thyroiditis my dear friends and uh, how to treat here fibrosis so we need to treat by prednisone prednisolone prednisolone my dear friends and uh, for examination it's not important for you they are not going to ask the doses of prednisolone uh, and uh, so here we are going to treat with prednisolone my dear friends here also hypo u and hyperthyroidism can occur in then again i am going to explain you lymphocytic postpartum lymphocytic postpartum thyroiditis t i am going to write that don't worry don't worry i am not explaining here doses i am going to explain you in my next coming videos uh, dose calculation everything everything you when you are going to study further further you gaining a lot of knowledge so till here you have to concentrate on the theory and how i explain what does the process here happens so you have to remember only few things like thyroiditis thyroid means the itis means inflammation and thyroid means thyroid gland gland inflammation and it's looking like a goiter here and it include two types painful non painful painful we already discussed non painful we are discussing now what happens here and this finally came into the normal position normal therm uh, tss levels so we have to identify never misdiagnose never over treat a patient okay my dear friends this is very much important lymphocytic postpartum postpartum means after pregnancy so uh, there is a inflammation 
in a small pain less inflammation of thyroid gland in here lymphocytic inflammation and how to identify here also hyper then new thyroidic came then uh, hypothyroidism and then new thyroid here the tsh uh, low uptake and how to identify thyroiditis my dear friends i am going to explain you thyroiditis and how to identify hyperthyroidism Hi thyroiditis we are going to take a radioactive iodine uptake radioactive iodine uptake and what happens here in this radioactive iodine uptake in thyroiditis it is low uptake but in hyperthyroidism hyper high uptake on ultrasonography I am going to tell you this. If thyroiditis, see, yeah, thyroid gland look like this. Means normal, no uptake, low uptake. But in case of Graves' disease, high uptake in hyperthyroidism, so much dark nodules on sonography looking like this. See, see, my dear friends, on radioactive iodine uptake, these are the dark nodules, dark nodules of both thyroid glands. See, this is hyperthyroidism, and in case of thyroiditis, low uptake. But I have one question in pregnancy how to identify between thyroiditis and hyperthyroidism so never ever give a iodine dye radioactive iodine dye you have to do a sonography in sonography also we can see if there is a dark nodule that means hyperthyroidism if there is a white nodule on sonography that means it's thyroiditis so it's very easy very easy TSH and here the treatment postpartum we include uh, propenolol because thyrodoxicosis propenolol i hope it's very much clear for you my dear friends it's not a great deal it's not a big issue to understand what happens here in thyroiditis i am just explaining very very easy way so try and understand this will help you and drug induced thyroiditis my dear friends drug induced uh, also painless like amiodarone when we are going to use amiodarone in case of atrial fibrillation also we can use and lithium patient on lithium when we are going to use lithium in mania yeah prophylaxis in bipolar disorder we are going to use lithium so these drugs also uh, causes uh, non painful thyroiditis what was the treatment of choice treatment is stop stop the drug and then it's very good uh, prognosis and graves uh, thyroiditis also there is it a high uptake and low uptake yeah high uptake in graves thyroiditis my dear friends till here i hope it's clear for you my writing is sometimes bad <laughs> but don't worry uh, i'm explaining everything everything and when you are going to watch my further videos like hypothyroidism and next one you are going to clear and in my coming videos we are going to discuss everything i'm working in endocrinology field uh, my dear friends uh, please try and understand this this is a very easy task only in a one single board i explain everything so if you have any comments or question you can ask me and if you still not subscribe my channel please don't forget to subscribe it please subscribe it your one subscribe give me a energy to put more videos and give me a confidence and if you like my video please put like on it and um, i'm going to be very glad if you have any question you can ask me thank you my dear friends and uh, my reference from harrison book and davidson i am studying uh, so my dear friends have a good day good night goodbye thank you thank you once again